Hello, I'm Jitender from the Office Guys Tutorials. Welcome to the another video of my series Thesis Writing in Microsoft Word. This is the fourth video and in this video we are going to see how we can add both portrait and landscape type of pages in a same document. So let me just show you example what I'm talking about. So this is the thesis that we are referring from the first video. If you haven't downloaded this yet, I will recommend you to go and watch the first video and find the link there in the description box. Now you can see we have third chapter over here which is results and discussion. Now next if you go, so you can see that the page number 9 is a portrait page while the page number 10 is a landscape page. These kind of things are helpful when you have some flow chart, when you have some flow chart, gain chart or a diagram which is too wide compared to its height. So let me just show you how you can quickly do that. You can see we have the document over here. So before I start, I want to mention a couple of issues that people come across. So when you come to layout, you have an option called orientation and you can change it to landscape. Now with that, what happens, you'll notice that all of your chapters or all your pages became in the landscape format, which actually is not required. So how to deal with that? So I'm quickly going to press Ctrl Z on the keyboard to undo. Okay, so I'm back here. So what actually we are going to do is we are going to add a section break over here. And then I'm going to tell that between this section, the page should be of landscape orientation. So let me just show you how you can do that. So for example, this is my result and discussion. And I want this figure to be on a landscape page. So what I'm going to do is I will enter here in the last line of the text and I'll come to layout option. I'll click break and I will say break. Either you can choose from next page or you can choose continuous. So right now I'm going with continuous. Now let me just change, change the orientation now to landscape. Now you'll notice we are good to go and the result and description page is in portrait and the next page is in landscape. However, the another issue that comes up after doing this is that the next page also coming as landscape. So what we have to do is come to the caption of this image, press one enter and once again break and give a continuous break. Now come to this page and change its orientation to portrait. So you will see that very easily we are able to do that as well. So with this you can see that we have a landscape orientation page in between portrait pages. So I hope you find this tutorial useful. The next video we are going to discuss how we can automatically generate list of tables and figures. So stay tuned guys for that. I'll request you if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends. Thank you. I'll catch up in the next video.